Hey everybody, how's it going? It's me here again with another video. I don't really know what to do with my channel, so can be completely honest. So, I just thought I'd try a few different things. And I know a lot of people out there like toy unboxing videos, and I've actually had a little bit of experience with that. If you didn't know, you can go, you know, check out another one of my videos if you want to you know, check it out. It's pretty cool. I like it. A few thousand people like it. It's pretty cool. I thought I'd, you know, try my hand at making a legitimate toy unboxing channel, if that's what people want to see, you know? And I really like that atmosphere of just, you know, it's, it's, your, it's your favorite YouTube guy just sitting down, opening some toys, talking about it, playing with it, having a good time, you know? So I thought I'd try to be a part of that too. And if you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. But if you could like, comment, and subscribe, whether or not you do, I'd appreciate it. Now... To kick off my toy review channel right, I thought we could talk about Transformers. Transformers are a very popular toy series. They've been around since about the 1970s when they were created as an animated anime cartoon to entertain small babies. Since its inception, the show has come into a lot of different forms, such as cartoons, comic books video games, and even high-budget live-action movies and theaters. It's a very diverse series, and it's become somewhat of a pop culture icon. Everybody knows about the toys and what they do. If you haven't heard of it, you must have been born at age 18, because you didn't have a childhood. In fact, the series is so popular that almost everybody is aware of what Transformers is in some way. It doesn't matter what the media is, or the featured characters, or the writer's interpretation of the story, everybody knows that Transformers are the robots that turn into vehicles, or the vehicles that turn into robots. And sometimes, it can just be robots that turn into everyday household electronics. This incredibly unique approach to toy making is what has made Transformers so popular. Kids could get two toys in one. You get your robot, and then you twist it around a little bit, and bam! You got yourself a car! Because Transformers is so ingrained in toy culture, I figured what better series to kick off a toy review channel. So I went out and got one of the latest toys. It's from the most recent series, so it's brand new. Never before opened, in the package, completely sealed. You can only get it in a few locations, however. I really went all out. You can only get it in a few specific places. And you have to know exactly what to ask for. You just can't get it. So without further ado, here's the packaging for the new Transformers toy. Now the packaging is a little complicated. Like at first glance, you might not know exactly what you're buying into. Thankfully, there is a Transformers logo and character on the front. I am a little confused, however, as there's a completely different toy series being advertised. Although I am confused about the decisions of packaging design, I am not a marketing director for Hasbro, so I'll leave those decisions to people smarter than me. The package is very easy to open. You just flip these two tabs up on top, and the box opens right up. So, let's go ahead and dive in to everything that this toy package includes. That is a lot of accessories that it has included with. It comes with stickers. Many stickers. It comes with apples. It comes with a wide selection of french fries that have unfortunately fallen onto my floor. They are still very edible, however. Some very lovely chicken nuggets that still look to be partially fresh. So that is very appreciated, Hasbro. I really appreciate you including all these extra accessories. It's good to know that you get your money's worth whenever you buy a toy. I hate those toys that just come with, like, the main thing. It's just the main thing. And it doesn't come with any guns or hats or or any, any accessories at all, you know. It's kind of annoying. So I'm really happy that there's a little extra here to keep my attention. 
But we're looking at the main product today. So here we go. Transformers Robots in Disguise. They opted to use their catchphrase throughout the 50 or so years of the series to name their latest line. That's a great idea. As you can see, this is the Bumblebee Toy Jewett Jugget. I'm not sure what that last phrase is meant to be. There isn't a lot of information on the packaging. It's pretty basic. It only really tells you everything you need to know. So let's just rip right into it. First off, I happen to notice this little token. It comes with a thing to scan a game that you will play for two minutes before you delete it off your phone. Even a small child would not be entertained by this. It also comes with instructions, which I'm not really going to look at because we all know you just transform it. It's pretty simple. It doesn't really have to do a whole lot else. Right off the bat, we can see that the quality and design is very good. You can see all the little tread marks on the tires up here. You can see little details in his crotchal region. Even the tires on the feet are very well modeled. And it's very clear that they will click into place when you begin transforming. Now, there is some kind of shield mounted on its back. I'm not sure of its purpose. I'm not familiar with a robot wolf being part of Bumblebee's character. In fact, I have never seen Bumblebee look like this ever before. It is still a unique addition. So, without further ado, let's begin transforming this toy. What the fucking shit? The shield, uh, came off. Um, that's interesting. It just kind of pops off there, but that's okay. It just makes more room to start transforming the toy, so we'll get right to that. So if I know my transformers, you just kind of fold the arms back before you bend the legs inward. Um, I'm not really seeing... Okay, the fucking thing can't transform! What the fuck is... Fucking it! Okay, the fucking thing can't transform! I don't even care! What's the point of that? It doesn't transform! It's a transformer, right? It's supposed to transform! Why doesn't it transform? That's the only thing it's supposed to do! That's the one thing! The one thing that Transformers are supposed to do that they've ever done, and it doesn't do that. It can't transform. What the fuck is it? It's Bumblebee, right? What the hell else is it supposed to do? It's got this little fucking disc on the back that you, like, shove into its spinal cord. That you shoot up its back. It's all it does. That's all it does. It doesn't just keep falling off a fucking table. I can't get it to stand upright. I cannot... God damn it! It can't even stand up! It can't even stand up! It's... it's really not that hard, Hasbro. You bend it back, you do some stupid shit so it only clicks in like twice, and bam! You're done! You got a fucking transformer! What is this shit?! You didn't even do half the toy! You made half of it, Hasbro! It doesn't even have back legs! All you did was take a character, model it, and then you added two joints so you could cram this shit into it so, oh, look at this shit, you just flew a ring across the table, oh, and it entertains my five-year-old, fuck you, Hasbro. I love Transformers, and you just ruined it. You ruined it. You ruined Transformers for me forever. I'm never buying another Transformer as long as I live. And you know what? Who gives a shit about my little pony? I'm not buying that shit. Oh, fuck no. God damn it, Hasbro. You, you ruined everything. You really ruined everything. You can't even fucking make it stand up properly. Stickers on it. Ooh, look at me go. I'm putting stickers on it. Ugh. 
I'm putting stickers on it, Mom. I'm putting stickers on it, Mom. It looks so pretty. It looks so pretty. I'm decorating him. My little robot. Look at him go, Mom. Look at him go. No, of course there's no napkins in a box. Why would there be? You know what? Fuck it. Let's do an unboxing of these apple slices. Look at the packaging. It's bright and colorful. McFucking asshole corporation. You open it up, and bam! There's an apple. Look at that. It's impressive, right? It's kind of small. I bet it's an accessory. Let me step over here. This is also pretty small. This, I bet you would take out the main apple. And then you just kind of attach it off to the side, right? There's like it's, a, it's an Apple sidearm. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. A lot of different features. And it does exactly what an Apple is supposed to do. You're supposed to eat it. It's supposed to taste like an Apple. And it does. And that's all we got to do. You know? You know, McDonald's didn't try to reinvent the wheel on apples. They didn't try to do a bunch of new bullshit. No, nobody won. All they did, excuse me, all they did was take some apples and put them in a bag. They give you exactly what you want. They even took the skins off, made it more convenient for kids to eat, and that's all they had to do. It's perfect. It's perfect. Even these nuggets, look at them. It's just pressed chicken shit. It's chicken goop with breading, and it gets fried. And that's all they had to do. It's all they ever had to do. Hasbro couldn't make a toy that transforms. They couldn't make a toy that does the one thing it's ever supposed to do. And this is the shit that I get. Years of being a Transformers fan. And this is what I get. I get Michael Bay and I get Happy Meal. I don't want to review toys anymore. Fuck it. Like, comment, subscribe. I don't give a shit. See you next week.